I've been waiting on this box since I bought this car. The time has come, finally replacing the worst part of my clapped out junk 996 turbo. You guys should know exactly what part this is. You guys know there's a lot wrong with this car, but one of the major issues, other than the oil leak and the overboost and the vacuum leak and the driving noises and the bald tires and the smoke smelling interior and general miscare by the previous owner, was this hideous, hideous front bumper. So this has some kind of, I don't know, replica front bumper from some really, really ugly looking Porsche. <laughs> and that's been one of the worst parts of the outside of this vehicle, other than the general neglect time for a new bumper. It's not going to be so hideous anymore. Well, except for the bumper's not painted yet. So I went with an NR auto front bumper. It is a G22 replica bumper. I kind of just wanted a regular 996 turbo front bumper, but this was actually easier to get and I figured the car already has a GT2 rear wing. We might as well make the front look like the rear. Now this isn't getting GT2 badges or anything like that, just some cosmetic GT2 stuff. Now that wasn't the only part I got, I got some other body parts as well, but first we're going to test fit this bumper. I know there's some info out there that these don't fit very well and need a lot of work. Hopefully that's not the case. I'm hoping it fits on there pretty easily. And luckily for me, this front aftermarket bumper pretty much just falls off by itself. If I hadn't zip tied it on there, I could just pull it off without any tools. Now another reason why I went with this specific front bumper, bumpers are just hard to find for this for these cars. I did find some used turbo front bumpers, but man, those prices are through the roof. This bumper was expensive enough as it is, but <laughs> a used turbo bumper is even more expensive and still needs paint and body work. So I figured I might as well just get a new one. Pricing wasn't terrible, but still I paid the Porsche tax. I'm excited and hopeful that it fits well. This is really about all I need to remove this front bumper, as sad as that is. All these spots were to be attached, yet it's not. Oh, this actually has a screw holding it on. Look at that. I'm surprised. This may have been the only thing that kept it from falling off. went about as expected. Gonna have some extra wires and stuff to remove because that old bumper had those stupid little round fog lights in it and those hideously, hideously ugly turn signals. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I just wanna test fit this new bumper. It's probably gonna look better even though it's black. Not too bad at all. Actually seems pretty good. Overall fit and finish actually seems really good. Better than I thought it would. Now the holes aren't drilled out in the bumper yet like for the underneath attachments and stuff. I gotta draw those out. Not a big deal, but it really doesn't seem like I'm gonna have to finagle much to get it to fit just about perfect. So I gotta remove that lip, remove that top grill piece because those are both gonna stay black, draw out the stuff underneath and then basically it's ready to send off for paint. I wanna show you guys the fitment underneath because it's honestly pretty good so you see like the holes aren't drilled out yet but they're there and they pretty much line up now i'm not sure does it go to this hole or that hole i don't know i'm guessing this one or maybe this metal is bent who knows over here you've got where these things line up this to that that to that they all line up pretty well granted the bumper's not fully set these 
line up good here this lines up good here and pretty much the same over here this to that i do want to pull this lip off this is a whole bunch of screws because i don't want this painted because that's inevitably going to get messed up i've got the old bumper sitting here on the trash can where it belongs I need to remove the, the, sorry, there's construction behind me. I need to remove the brackets that hold the side turn signal marker light things on to transfer them to the new bumper. Fortunately, this side is broken, so we're probably going to have to get a new one of these. Fitment actually seems really good with all that. You throw it back on the car, throw the markers in, see how that works. Actually, first, I might as well drill out all the holes underneath. So that's taken care of. While it's up here and easy to get to. Now I don't believe I have a need for any of this wiring because this bumper is going to have no lights in except for the side marker so I'm just going to eliminate it all. Another example of the fine work done on this car. Ho oh, ho! That is a good fit. Very good fit. Sure, my holes light up. That's good. That's good. All lines up. That hole's good. That hole's good. 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 And those two are good. I was expecting that to not line up so well. The only thing left is to try the side markers, make sure they fit, and all the gaps are good. Oh yes, boys. That looks nice. And it's not obviously bolted in either. So super happy with that. Look at the gap up here. All is great. All right, and there's this side. Looks good too, even though that bracket's broken, so that can help. Oh, this is good. I really couldn't be more pleased. It's coming together. Now I just gotta get it painted. Now on to the next part of this video, which is side skirts. Now I wouldn't be replacing the side skirts if it wasn't for the fact that mine are damaged and they kind of look like crap. So I got some new ones and they came folded in a box. They're also from NR Auto and I gotta get some heat to them to make them basically flatten out, look how they're supposed to. As you can see, they're not exactly straight because they were they came to me like this. So you're supposed to put them out in the sun, but there's not much sun back here and it's not very warm out. So I'm gonna use a heat gun, see if I can get them to go back to the shape that they're supposed to be in. These are looking pretty good, pretty straight. I'm gonna let them cool off now and in the meantime, remove the old side skirts because I'm not exactly sure how to do that. And then these should cool off and we can do some test fitting. Now, the only problem is I don't know how these mount at all. 
There's no hardware. There's no spots where clips go in. I'm hoping it's not just double-sided tape. Crappy spots, just gotta draw out all these holes so I can bolt them in. This is just kind of a generic second fit to see if my bolt holes are even remotely close. Mostly bolted in, a couple more holes I gotta drill and make sure everything's aligned. But the alignment up here looks good. So at the top, it's, it all feels flat, so I'm just assuming double-sided tape. That'll hold that on. All in all, I'm really happy with that. I would have preferred not to have aftermarket side skirts, but this is really the only feasible way to fix those big dents on the other side without having to do a bunch of paint and body work. Overall, pretty happy. bumper on and fitted check uh, in the meantime I did some other things clean up the spare wheel put that back in the front end because you guys said that it's part of the structure so if, we, if you get in a front end collision that could you know affect things and make it worse for me so thanks for the tip I did put it back in probably never ever use it hopefully but it's in there also I fixed the airbag light I got a new code reader code scanner let me show you I got this new unit here from uh, CG Sullet. Again, I'm usually pronouncing things wrong, but it is the SC530 multi-system scanner. This was actually able to do a whole bunch of stuff. Way more stuff than a regular code reader could. So I was able to get in there, diagnose the issue, and it basically wasn't an issue because I pulled the seat out to clean without disconnecting the battery. The SC30 found that fault, cleared it, now it's good. No more airbag light. So I thought I was gonna have to go to a Porsche dealership. Didn't have to. Nice, no more codes. Uh, and other exciting news, I put the new cabin air filter in that I've had for a while because uh, that was desperately needed. And then I went on to fit the passenger side side skirt, which went pretty much just like the driver's side. A couple more holes I need to drill underneath for the mounts under there. Not a big deal. Basically, all that stuff is ready for paint. I got to ship it off to the painter and get that stuff ready along with some other things like the the door handles have missing clear coat. The rear bumper, I want to get that repainted too because it has missing clear coat. Eventually the roof, but I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to do all these parts and go from there. Maybe eventually make the mirrors yellow again along with the air ducts on the side. I don't know. I don't mind the black. It's got a black and yellow theme. It's fine. And that will almost wrap up cosmetics. So the next video, I'll get back to working on the engine and hopefully get all the new vacuum lines and check valves and all that nonsense back up in there along with uh, a new aftermarket fuel pump that I got. So hopefully I can get all that fixed up and start driving it again. So exciting times. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video.